Okay, so what is the age of intelligence? We have just finished up a 200 year cycle known as the age of engines. And this is really where we've seen the industrial revolution. We've seen the centralization of models, you know, that factory model where we still have the remnants of work, where your butt in seat, nine to five, our educational models are built around this. We still have factory towns that are functioning in this way. And the thing is, is that we know that those are old models that are broken. And so it's almost like sand and water that it hasn't necessarily settled yet, um, but we are starting to head into this lovely new age, a whole new arc of 200 years, which we are calling the age of intelligence. And this is really where you see the combination between intelligence between machines and humans start to connect and blend in varying ways. So whether or not we're talking about neural networks, whether or not we're talking about, you know, our consciousness being uploaded into a machine or into a, a collective, um, a collective intelligence, all of these things will start to come to fruition and morph over the next few hundred years. And the challenge of this age, which I think is amazing and beautiful, is that it helps us to ask the question, is intelligence uniquely human? And if so, when is it uniquely human? And what does it mean to be intelligence? 